Woo woo! We're making steam powered dumplings. We're rolling. It's live. What's up? It's your boy amateur home. Home pro, home, 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 homie, home, home. It's your, it's your homie. Yo, it's your homeboy, amateur homeboy, chef, home Nathaniel Homelinson. Amateur home. What up? It's your boy, amateur pro, home chef. Let me not do it while I'm swiveling. What's up? It's your boy. What's up? It's your boy, amateur short home chef, Abigail Levinson. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough day, Craig. What's up? It's your boy, amateur pro home chef, Nathaniel Levinson. And today we're making buzz. I probably mispronouncing it, but it's a sweet Mongolian dumpling. It's not sweet. Let me start over. What up? <laughs> it's a disaster! <laughs> What's up? It's your boy, amateur pro home chef, Nathaniel Levinson. Today we're making a Mongolian dumpling called Buzz. First try. For the dough, you'll just need flour and boiling water and a little bit of salt. For the filling, ground beef or ground lamb, onion, garlic, pepper, salt, and a couple of different seasonings such as caraway seeds, fennel seed, celery seed, sumac. All right, so our buzz dough is terribly simple. It is just flour, two cups, one teaspoon of salt, and then two thirds of a cup of hot, I just boiled it, boiling water. I'm also gonna add a little bit of caraway seed, just give it a little bit of, uh, a little bit of character, totally optional for this part. So we're just gonna Pour in our hot water and work it until we get a nice dough. Now, <laughs> I advise you to not use your hands because this water is extremely hot. So we're just gonna pour in our hot water. And we're just gonna kind of move in circles and fold the dough over until all that water gets absorbed and we get a nice dough. Once it cools off a little bit, you can probably go in there and work it with your hands. So again, it might seem like not enough water for this much flour, but as we work it, you'll see that that water will be absorbed through all our starch granules, and it'll actually come together. So now our dough's come together. You can see it's still a little crumbly. So we're just gonna put this, wrap this in plastic wrap, and let it rest while the dough hydrates. And that'll take about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. If it rests longer, that's fine. So buzz filling is typically incredibly simple and it's meant to emphasize the meat. Um, lamb or mutton tends to have a, a pretty distinctive flavor as does beef. So we'll be using beef. Traditionally it's made with lamb. I forgot to grab lamb, but I have beef. So we're using ground beef. This is 80-20. The fattier is gonna be better for this. Um, so we're gonna put in about two pounds of ground beef. And then to that, we're going to add one whole onion that's been finely chopped. And then we're just gonna add some seasonings. So we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of celery seed. We want, to, we want things that will complement the meat and not overpower them. So I'm gonna add about a half teaspoon of fennel seed. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. About a teaspoon of rosemary and about a teaspoon of caraway seeds. We're also going to want to season it. Beef wants a lot of salt, um, so we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. And finally, I'm gonna add just a little bit, like a half teaspoon of sumac. Sumac has a very bright, almost lemony flavor. So I'm just gonna add a little bit because I don't want it to overpower, but it'll kind of brighten up what are otherwise uh, very uh, heavy flavors. And we're just gonna mix by hand. We don't want it to be too pasty. We kind of want to emphasize the texture of the meat. So we don't want to mix it too much, but we just want it to be totally combined. Now that our filling is ready, it's time to roll out our wrapper and make our buzz. 
All right, so I've got my buzz dough and roll it out to oh quarter inch thick. It doesn't need to be super duper thin, but you also don't want it like noodle bread dough thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a scoop of our meat mixture, put it in the middle, then we're gonna bring it up and we want to just kind of bring everything up to the top. And then we want to push our thumb down in the middle while trying to bring the rest of the dough up around it so that hopefully we make sort of a thumb indentation in the center. There, beautiful. Just like that. And we'll put that in our steamer basket, which is lined with parchment paper. So our buzz are done. It's time to eat them. I already burned myself with the juices, so do be careful. These are incredibly hot. So you can see a nice cross section. We got a little meat dumpling inside. So these are traditionally served with soy sauce or apparently ketchup, but uh, I'm just gonna try one plain and then we'll try it with our dumpling sauce from our bow episode. Uh. When you're working with dumplings as simple as this, not adding a whole lot, you're really emphasizing the meat. You really taste the beef. Um, onion is nice. It, it, uh, everything we added is just kind of a backup singer and the beef is front and center. So if you use lamb as well, any other meat you pick is gonna be front and center. So I might avoid chicken is gonna be a little mild. Um, pork might be a little mild. So I would pick something a little bolder like beef or lamb uh, to do this. And then you can adjust the seasonings, but you know, keep it simple. It's, it's almost buttery in how it tastes. The dough is, since we did it with boiling water, it's very chewy. In a good way. Mm. It's got a lot of tooth to it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, these are nice. Let's try it with our dumpling sauce. Mmm. Oh yeah. Forget about it. Just whatever Mongolian for forget about it is, forget about it. That's fantastic. Um, any kind of dipping sauce you have that's uh, salty or sour will cut through the richness of the of the meat and just provide a really nice contrast. So in this case, there's again, soy sauce and vinegar, uh, just is a perfect balancing act. Mm. Mm. It really just brings out the best in the food. Well, that's fantastic. So until next time, I'm your boy, Amateur Pro Home Chef Nathaniel Levinson, and Genghis, you are welcome to eat at my house. <laughs> no, no, I got a better one. Until next time, I'm your boy, Amateur Pro Home Chef Nathaniel Levinson. Come!